understanding how the process work and knowing the knowledge that I have, for example, of designing parties, you're going to understand that not every single party you need to spend a lot of money. And it really doesn't cost a lot. It, I mean, it does cost a lot. But my point is like, even if you're doing at home and you're doing yourself, there's ways that you can do it that's not going to be super expensive and you can continue celebrating. So you will be able to make decisions on every single occasion that you decided to celebrate at home with a budget that's going to be affordable to everybody or at least most of the people because everybody has different circumstances so basically it's just to help you all to figure this those decisions uh into choosing what should you use it towards the money uh where can you put the money towards it basically um because that's the problem uh people assume uh, just because so-and-so have a backdrop, for example, I need to have a backdrop. And that's not necessarily it. You, there are things, there's a whole process of when you're deciding to do a party or a dessert station that you need to analyze. Do I need a backdrop? That's the question that you should be asking. And I'm going to make it sure you understand in a very easy way. At least I am going to try. So I'm going to share pictures to make it simple and easier for you to understand. Oh gosh, I hope I don't take any embarrassing pictures over here. So let, let's make believe you're doing a dessert station in your house, right? And um, first thing you got to find is like after you decided your theme, let's just play why uh, understanding the theme or, or knowing what theme you're going to use. It's the number one thing that you should think of it. Why? Because let's see you're going to pick uh, a theme that's going to be... Um, like Easter's coming up. I designed this project based on Easter. So let's say you're gonna do an Easter party at home for your family, right? So now think with me. Oh, um, I wanna do a girly one because I have a two year old at home. So like, oh, I wanna do everything like girly to match my, my daughter's uh, Easter. Remember Easter for her because she's the little one. She's the, she's the one that care about all those things the most at least in, in my house she's the one she's crazy about cakes and everything else so let's play a game so we decided a theme that's gonna be Easter and we decided that's gonna be pink now just like you, this is a problem let me show you my house okay this is the area you gotta find an area in your house that you're gonna be placing this small dessert station okay just or whatever you want to call it like a gift station if you're not doing desserts a donut station or just a cake a little area for you to decorate right so now this is the scenario think with me this is how my house looks like okay i'm i love bright and big colors and this is the area that i have the most space well it's pretty cool place i love the bookshelves and everything else but all right so do i need a backdrop here mm, my party it's all in pink all right let's think about this let me show you another one so you can understand all right so let's think about now this is my house wow very nice right and again my party it's gonna be all in pink do i need a backdrop for this mm, let's think about it now let's see if my house now has a wall a white wall or a clean wall anything that doesn't have a lot on the wall do i need a backdrop I, see i gave you three different scenarios and we're gonna play with it so let's go back to the cute little pink party right so I set up here a small little example of a dessert station. So we can all analyze together and I can try to make it as simple as possible. So I created this little dessert station for Easter, right? So I have a little cake, I have a few props, I have a few flowers and trays on the table, something very small and cute that's not gonna cost me an arm and a leg so I can set it up. So you see, imagine that's the tablecloth in pink and all the trays and everything on top. Okay, let's go back to those walls. Wall number one, what would have happened? Now with the beautiful, I'm not saying that's not beautiful, like those beautiful bright colors that I have over here. And I decided to put that dessert station on it. This is what's gonna look like. 
Can you see that? All right, so what happened to this dessert station? Well, it first became super cluttered because everything in the back, it's basically fighting space with the things there are in front. So it's not that's not a good location to have it, especially if this is the only location in your house that you have to set up the dessert station. What you're gonna have to do is come up with some kind of plan B. And yes, that is an example when you do need some kind of background. Why? Because you wanna make sure you can cover just like this. Let me show you. Now, do you see the difference on one side and the other side? If you start covering, and I put here just a regular curtain, just an example for how it's gonna look like. It's a big difference. Now, all the colorful things that were behind the dessert station are hidden behind the curtains. And that's sometimes, uh, not sometimes, most of the times, that will be definitely um, a time that I will totally use a background. And there's different forms of using backgrounds, but everything depends on what kind of wall do you have and what are you planning to set up. For example, if I put this wall on this colorful wall over here, this pink background, that's what's gonna look like. So now pink is gonna be the most col uh, the um, dominant color in here. But I don't like pink. I, I want girly, but I don't want too pink. It's up to you. You can use a white background. But can you see how like playing with colors and adding a background can change the whole format of a party? Look at the difference of this white background against all the pinks, all the pink props and trays and everything. And now look at the difference with the pink background. Big difference, right? Yes, it is. Now, what would happen? Like, just Lainey, but um, I really hate curtains. It's not everybody that likes. Yes, gold back rock would look absolutely beautiful in this. Like, it, it's it's playing with the colors that's gonna make a make a difference when setting up. But the importance is to know when do you actually need a background when you don't need it. For example, remember again. Let's let me just go back to the wall that's just white wall. So if now it's a little bit different. Same thing, if you have a wall that's clear in your house and you wanna set up the dessert station in that, it makes it a lot easier and less expensive. Let me show you why. Again, let's go back to the picture of the mini setup that I designed and just to give you an idea, okay? So what happens when you have a clean wall? When you have a clean wall like this, you don't have to go crazy designing a background or purchasing a background. Because if, if you go to a professional like printing company, backgrounds are not cheap, okay? I'm not talking about the Amazon ones that you can purchase online. There's a different type of quality from a backdrop from Amazon and from a printing company. And everybody that's in the party business knows that. Like when you when you go to a printing company, they're gonna uh, first they're gonna ask you for size, dimensions, the pixels. You need to have a very good uh, picture in order to reproduce that. Uh, you can't just get any picture online saying I want this. You, there's a, like exact number of pixels in order to print it in a large uh, scale that's gonna look good because you don't want the background to be blurry. So when you go to a personalized background, it could be expensive. It could be anything between 250 and up. I done backgrounds that cost $800 just to print because it was massive. It was like probably, I think it was eight by 12. I can't remember exactly. And it was a beautiful background. Um, but again, it all depends on how much money you're willing to spend on that party. And if you're doing a home party, just learn how to analyze that. Look for a wall that's gonna match what you're trying to design and it's gonna complement the design and not go against it like that colorful uh, wall that I showed you before. Why? Oh, but I still want something in the back. I don't want something empty, but it became a lot easier. Look what you can do. Now you have a wall that matches. You can put just a little, a little tiny, um, what do you call it, banner like this little bunny banner. You can put a few balloons on each side. That gives an illusion that you have a background because it's it's placed differently. It's placed towards the back. And also you can create it in a different um, 
budget when you're able to analyze the wall and analyze where can I put this dessert station? And that's what very important for you to understand it. Do you need a background background or do you want a background?